Hi, this is James Abraham with warehouse-lighting.com. Uh, I'm going to show you a real inexpensive way to change your regular fluorescent strip fixtures, your four foots and your eight foots over to LEDs, um, and put an LED array in them, saving you a ton of electricity. This fixture itself is running about uh, 64 watts plus ballast factor in there, which is probably another 10% ballast factor. Um, so. You know, you're probably talking 72 watts, somewhere in that ballpark. And you're going to take it down to a, we have two kits like this. Uh, one strip would be 18 watts, and then we have a 40 watt version, which is also DLC. Um, it has two strips in it. Right now I'm going to show you how to uh, put this fixture together and kind of get it running. Um, so, what we have here is just a regular strip fixture. It's got uh, regular uh, fluorescent ballast in it for two lamp T8s. I've taken the tubes out, I've taken the ballast cover off. Um, what, what you're left with is basically the ballast inside the fixture, plus the tombstones, uh, end caps, and uh, you know whatever else is in here, wires. You can remove this completely from the equation, uh, removing the tombstones and everything like that. Um, or you can uh, just basically put this kit on over all this stuff, leaving it in there. You will have to push down the tombstones, which we're going to do the real quick and easy version. Really takes about uh, maybe two or three minutes, uh, maybe four to get it done. So your first step would be to remove your tombstones. You can push these down into the fixture. We're going to do the same thing on both sides. And like I said, you can pull this ballast out too, which might not be a bad idea. Actually, what we'll do is we'll remove the ballast to give you an idea of how this all goes together. I'm going to leave the socket bars in there. Voila! You're done. So. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this fixture, you're going to take your wires, your leads, you're going to pop them in. Sign it up. So I have it hooked to a plug right now. going to do is take, I've got uh, Wagos on this, we also sell these Wagos, real nice easy way to wire up your fixtures, your neutral is going to go to neutral, hot's going to go to hot, and your ground is going to go to ground, I'm going to grab our Wago here, hold on. Punch down, punch down, we'll take this fixture, there's holes already drilled here, but I find they don't line up, so what I do is I use, uh, into that socket bar, I use tech screws, on a 5 inch fixture, this would line up and it would go in perfectly, but on this one, what we're going to do is, I'm going to take it and go right into that socket bar. And these are self tapping. Okay.
I'm just tying this. Tech screwed all these in. What we're going to do is give us some power. And you're good to go. Saving yourself, what, 72 watts down to 18 watts. Get all that dust off of this. But this gives you an idea. It's as easy as that. Literally took me less than two minutes to do. If you have any questions or problems, give us a call. You know, on this kit too, which I forgot to say, this is uh, this is the 18 watt. It's 1890 lumens, and then the 40 watt, which is two strips of this, comes out to be 4,383 lumens. It's got about a 50,000 hour life. Um, it is also dimmable with a low voltage dim. And it's got a five-year warranty, and it's also UL listed. Um, like I said, this is the 18 watt, and there's a 40 watt that's uh, quite a bit more brighter than this. But this gives you an idea. Tech screws are not included in the kit. All you got to do is drill through the housing, and you're good to go. Pretty much, that's your fixture now. So, if you have any questions, please uh, respond, and uh, we'll uh, get them taken care of. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you watching the video. Have a great day.